Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my March setup and kind of uh, update you all on what I have chosen to use for this month. So I made a video maybe a week or two ago mentioning that I was planning in my A5 rings and then I just stopped. Like I did the first week of February and then I just stopped <laughs> midway in the second week. So I stopped using my A5 rings because it was a little heavy. Um, and I just didn't enjoy lugging it around. I know it had a lot of stuff in it, but it was also really heavy because of how big the binder was, then the padding and the binder that you have to account for, and then the rings. So it was a little bit too heavy. Um, I'm not saying that I'll probably not return to it because I definitely miss having my A5 rings. It definitely has a ton of stuff. Like you guys have seen my A5 flip and if you haven't, I will link it somewhere in the cards to the right. Um, but if you haven't seen it, it holds a lot of stuff. Now recently I was diagnosed as being high risk for this pregnancy. For those who don't know, I'm currently pregnant. I'm 22 weeks and two days. I knew prior to getting pregnant, especially with having the two miscarriages, that this may be a high risk. But I recently found out that I had an incompetent cervix or a short cervix that appeared that it was opening from the inside out. So I've been put on some medications and put on extreme bed rest. And yeah, I wanted to lighten my load. For those who don't know, I am staying downstairs in our living room, in our kitchen, and I just, just didn't want to lug around my A5. Now, there's a couple of other planners that I use, um, but the A5 has a lot more space for me, and I just feel much more comfortable planning out my week in that planner. Um, I also did away when switching. I did away with moving into... Um, just a weekly kind of a planner because I was finding that when I was in my A5 rings, I didn't have a lot of things to do in the day because I couldn't do them anyway. So it was kind of like pointless to have like a whole like half letter sheet of paper for one day. So I went ahead and purchased something else and I'll tell you about the little contraption I have going on in here um, I went ahead and purchased the charmed life master planner again I used it last year and I used it for a second for a bit and then I kind of did away with it and then I dismantled it and yeah there's videos of what I did with those sheets um, so I kind of purchased her planning system. Now, she has two books that I can only think of or remember of. And I don't know if I need to have on a flash. Maybe that helps. I don't know. If that helps, you guys, let me know. If not, let's see. Is that much better? I feel like that. I feel like without the light, that's much better. Um. So she has two books that I know of. If not, definitely correct me on that. But I only saw two. So there's the High Vibe Vibe Bible. And then there's her actual Master Planner. These are fairly lightweight books. They're paperback books with some kind of matte finish on it. Like matte suede finish. So it feels really nice. Um, this book this first book the high vibe bible is geared towards manifesting things that you want to accomplish for that month so each um, month has a week of things that you can you know like what are your man what are you manifesting for this week um and how you intend to raise your vibration so things that you would do to help with what you're trying to manifest <clears throat> excuse me um so it's only a 90 day book so what I did is I got some tabs and I don't know if you can see them on camera but I got some tabs and these tabs 
um, are just month or March through March, April, May, March through May. And I got these tabs off of Amazon, by the way, um, Amazon.de and DE is for, um, Germany. So I don't know if they have them on the U.S. Amazon, but I would assume they do. But, um, yeah, I got them from Amazon. So I just tabbed off what I wanted to tab off. And then I don't know if I'll purchase this book again. I'll try it out for the first 90 days, see how it works, if it works. And then we'll go from there. But I got this to kind of take place of the gratitude book that I was using in my A5 planner. Um, which I do intend to go back to my A5 rings. It's just that right now, at this point, I just don't really feel like lugging it around. And I just don't think I need everything that's in it. Um, so once you get through this monthly or this weekly mantra, um, you have a little tracker down at the bottom and this tracker is things that you want to execute. So I have another tracker, but this tracker is geared towards things that you absolutely want to execute within that week. So for me, that would be health things, things like that. Those are things that I want to manifest or execute. Once you get past that, it goes into your gratitude. You don't get a whole 90 or not 90. You don't get a whole 30 days worth of gratitude pages but you get a couple scattered throughout the month. So this pretty much is like accountability. It's just enough in here to kind of, you know, account for, and I think I went into another month. Did I? No. So there's a couple of weeks in here and I want to say there's just enough for you to do for each week. Um, there's not enough for like every day, I want to say, because as I look at it, um, and as I was looking at it last night, I was like, okay, so there's not enough in here for like every single day, I don't think, but I could be wrong. I might've miscounted. I'll check again and then I'll update you guys as I use it, but it has the, the weeks in here for, um, each month. Once we get past that. We go back to this Master Charmed Life Planner. I used this planner last year, so if you saw the video I did of like the flip of this, um, then it won't be new to you. But for those of you who are new to my channel, hi by the way, and thanks for subscribing. Um, this is the Master Charm Life Planner and she has a bunch of stuff that goes into here. So pretty much what I did, unlike what I did last year um, when I was using this, is I set this up with the basic, most basic intentions that I could think of. Uh, I have a basic mood tracker. Those of you who saw my um, flip for, what was it, for my A5 rings, I was using the So Much Crafting mood tracker and I was expressing how I didn't like her inserts for the mood tracker. I felt like they were a bit too much. I felt like I didn't know what to do with them. And overall, I just don't know if I'll return to them because they were a lot, um, just a lot in general. So I have a basic mood tracker with basic moods. Um, I'm getting to the point where I hate shuffling through my pencil pouch. So I have pretty much basically rubber band the markers that I'm going to be using specifically this month um, to kind of help with shuffling around. Uh, yearly overview, I only did for March because who knows, I might not be in here for April or May or June, but uh, at least if I did one month, then if I jumped out of here April, I wouldn't feel bad that I filled this out because if I decide to jump back in it for April, then I could definitely just do so. So that is that. Here's what March's month looks like. Um, it's, you know, it's set up just like how it was in the A5 rings. Um, so pretty much I'm using the Sweet Kawaii Design stickers. I like her stickers. I do. 
My only complaint is that sometimes I feel like they are really gimmicky because they're like cartoony and like just colorful and like, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it except for gimmicky, but I like her um, stickers for certain planners. It works in here and it also works in my A5 rings. Um, I just think it's pretty on the paper for those particular kind of planners. I didn't do anything with these to-dos. She has it split up to where each week there are like three to-dos that you can do. I just started this week, so I can't tell you if there's anything that I have coming up. Um, I have a monthly task or monthly tracker. And this month, um, because I'm on some new medications, I'm tracking quite a bit. Um, I track, you know, the vitamins that I take, I take five in total. I've been put on baby aspirin, 81 milligrams to help with, um, you know, me catching preeclampsia and also gestational diabetes and some other things that they mentioned to me that I would be at high risk for. Um, I also drink a gallon of water, um, so I'm tracking that. I've had a hard time with eating vegetables and fruits the second trimester. I found out that I was having a little boy and for whatever reason, he craves salty things. Like that's the things that I crave the most. So that would account for all of the fast food that I've been eating. I did really well eating in the first trimester, but as soon as I hit the second trimester, it's been a roller coaster, like an up and down hill battle of eating right and then eating bad. So I'm trying to get back on track desperately. It's just baby steps, each little step at a time. So um, I wanna track if I eat two servings of vegetables, if I can get two in, each day, I'm doing really good. If I can just get like two in every couple of days throughout the week, that's that's a start, okay? Because we fell off for a bit. Um, and I'm also tracking now if I've cramped. So I didn't disclose a lot of my pregnancy. Like I said, this is a planner channel. So I don't really try to share too much of my medical history with you all, but I know that there are some of you who follow me and who are interested in like my pregnancy, you're rooting for me, and I am so grateful and thankful for you all that have been giving me encouragement and prayers on Instagram because I'm telling you, I have been praying so hard and I appreciate the prayers truly because I just feel like, I just feel like it, it's getting me through it, honestly. Um, I don't really have any other words besides it's getting me through it because that's all that I have. And I have cramped so much this pregnancy. And I'm not talking about like regular cramps, like mild. I'm talking about hardcore like labor cramps. So because of that, I need to track it now um, because I'm high risk. So I'm tracking that. And then there's a progesterone medication that they put me on. Um, so I am tracking that too. And the biggest one that's highlighted in blue is takeout. And takeout is just, you know, if you eat out. So I'm tracking that as well. And then I have my master task list, which is just like your basic to-do list for the month. Um, I was doing them for the week, but here you just have it for the month. And so, yeah. That's what I have going on for this section. And then instead of a weekly, I opted for, uh, or not a weekly, instead of a, a daily, I opted for a weekly. Um, I decided that I didn't need um, dailies for the A5 format. Reason being is because I just don't have enough going on in a day to fill out a daily insert. I probably do. There's probably things that I could put in my daily that would kind of, you know, sum up how many planners I'm using or sum up everything that I would like to use. But for me, it just didn't make any sense to have a daily when the weekly in my A5 rings was doing just fine without the daily. 
So I just went ahead and just purchased this again because I used it. I liked it. It wasn't that I didn't, but yeah, it worked. So I have a tracker here. That's the endometrian. That's the progesterone medication that I'm on. So since I have to take it every day, I'm tracking it twice because my memory sucks. So here I can check it off and here I can check it off. I haven't finished what we're going to eat this week. Um, it's just a little tracker to, you know, tell me what we're eating this week. And all the stickers that I'm using are Sweet Kawaii Designs. So I filled out for the first couple of days, first three days, but I haven't um, filled out anything really for this month. And that's mainly because I just don't know what's going to be happening this month. This bookmarker I made, I just made it out of like plastic. Um, I think it was like a plastic divider. I have one in my A5 bullet journal. One that I used last year, I have a yellow one, but I made this one, slap some stickers on it and some sticky notes and yeah, it this works. <laughs> uh, cheap alternative to buying one. That works. Um, so I won't go through this whole book. Like I said, it's just weeklies and monthlies. And then the back of it, you know, you have project plan sheets. That's what one looks like. And then project notes. You also have, um, let's see. You also have these brain dump and organize and act pages, which I had in my A5 rings. I just dissected the book that I had last year and hole punched the pages into my rings. So you have this, including an index and notes. So she has a really, really good system in this book. And so I thought that it would be beneficial to just use it again. Um, and then the last thing that I have in here is just this is a really thin book. It's for notes, pretty much. Um, I've been taking notes for like my baby registry, medical notes, stuff like that. So um, I just decided to keep this notebook in here. How do I have three notebooks in this um, kind of folio journal? Because this journal is not a traveler's notebook where it has holes and strings it's a folio for one book so what i did is i had some traveler's notebook strings and i strung the notebooks together um to kind of you know secure them so that it mimics a, a traveler's notebook um with strings without actually having to punch holes in my book I thought that was a better alternative than damaging my folio cover. Um, and then in the pockets, nothing special. So we won't go over it. So that is my, what is it? March setup in my A5. That's this, and this is actually a lot lighter um, than carrying the rings. All the tabs that you see, they are from, and I don't know if it's focusing, but they are from Amazon.de, which is for Germany. I didn't check to see if they are Amazon.com, but I assume that they would be. So I'll look, and if I can find them, then I'll let you guys know. Um, this is the other planner that I'm using. So this really isn't a planner. I mean, it, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Um, I was using it in conjunction with this because I was trying to see if this one was better as a on the go versus this one. This one I have my personal journal in. So I am kind of still going back and forth between the two. I'll kind of show you what I have. And this one also has the tabs in it here because I'm, <clears throat> I'm horrible at this. This one also has the tabs in it from uh, Amazon. They're just like foiled tabs, monthly tabs. And so let's, let's just go through this really, really quick. So this <clears throat> is all dated. These are all dated inserts. They are set up for, they are set up for the month 
the weeks, the days, everything like that. Like this has everything in it. I've even went ahead and look, we're flipping through February. I have dailies in here, but I put dailies in here because they act like little little sheets. This is enough space for what I need um, when it comes to daily. That's why it wasn't working in my A5 because what I put in my weeks, I could fit in here on this daily sheet, no problem. So that's why I kept the dailies in here. Um, I don't know if I'll use this as an on the go because uh, I don't know. Sometimes I go back and forth with what I need and what I want. Sometimes I want to just do it myself versus follow, you know, like this setup. But it's set up, it's ready to go, it's filled out for March. And yeah, this, on the other hand, is also set up for March. And I, I, I just enjoy this one much better. I have a bunch of like little stickies and like little, um, these little, whatever you call them. I have a bunch of these that I use for like filling in little appointments. Oops, that's my... That's my real journal. <laughs> um, I'll show you what what February ended up looking like. So I ended up moving into this like uh, I want to say the second or third week in Fe second week in February. I ended up moving in this on February fifteenth. So I was in this and loved it. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in. I don't know if that helps. You guys look blurry. Hmm. Maybe it'll autofocus. Let's see. I don't want to shake you guys. I don't want this video to be long either. So let's see if I can autofocus you guys. Okay. <clears throat> so I ended up moving into this February 15th. Stop the shaking. And um, this worked out well. I used sticky notes to fill out things. I also wrote medical notes in here. So I had... This setup as to where it was just a week on one page with a to-do list, and then this was weekly notes. This worked beautifully. That's why I kind of contradict myself as to whether or not I want to use the rings or this, because sometimes the rings works well, and then sometimes this works better. I've also did it for out the rest of the week. I had a little meal planning sticker, though I didn't finish it out for that week, but I did use it. It's set up the same way, um, a week on one page, to-do list with meals, and then weekly notes. This was also some weekly notes, and then I added a water tracker because apparently this last week in February, I was struggling with my water intake a little bit. Um, I took the advice of someone who pretty much suggested that I thread my pages and I gotta, I gotta say, that's really, I don't know why I have never done that before in any of my journals. I've always preset them up and then separated notes or other things in between, um, you know, like the months, the days and the weeks. So instead of, you know, separating this month from these tasks or these notes I put them right in right after and um yeah so these are just this is what I was working on for my baby registry this is some this is a blank page but this would be filled out for a baby stuff and then this is what March looks like so I used my sweet quiet design stickers put them in here um, because they didn't fit in the A5. And I set this up completely the same as it's set up for February or as it was set up. So week on one page to do and then weekly notes. This little bookmark I made just like the A5. I just made it out of pla like a plastic divider and pretty much slapped some stickers on it and sat it in the middle here. Um, so I have all of March set up in this whole book um, just for this month. And then at the end of March, I have, you know, a small to do because it's a half of a week. And then, you know, like my half week notes and then my month in review. So anything um, <clears throat> that I would like to note take 
for the for the month so my month in review has kind of changed a bit what i've been doing is like what didn't i get done this month and so i've been writing down the things that i had set forth to do but just didn't get around to or started but didn't complete so that way when i go to set up the next month you know i make that top priority those are pretty much how i've been doing my month in reviews right now because um I don't really have much to do. Uh, like I said, I'm on bed rest, I'm high risk, so not much to do there. This is a <clears throat> is a Midori MD uh, one day one page book. And I was using this sporadically, um, not consistently. <clears throat> and I kind of went ahead, here, let me take this pen off. I kind of went ahead and was using this as like a regular daily planner just to see because I was like I said I was bouncing in between the two and I do like it as a regular basic planner you know like you have your regular to do you have your schedule here you can add in um I like it I just don't need a daily every day right now that's why I don't really take to the dated planner the dated ring planner that I have it's because I don't need a daily every day so this works great because I have my weekly set up right but then if I need a daily this is blank and undated and I can just set it up and fill it out as I wish and so it definitely works so I don't know I may just use this and do away with the ring um, pocket planner but we'll see um, I also have the A5 rings, which I like using because it has a ton of space. But yeah, that's what I have going on. Those are my setups for March. Uh, all the pens that I'm currently using is a G2, um, a Jetstream ballpoint, a Zebra fountain pen, which I love this pen, by the way. And I don't know if this is a Pentel. Um... Let's see. Yeah, a Pentel RSVP pen and 0.7. So those are the pens that I'm using. Um, and that's my setup. I hope it wasn't too ratty, too chatty. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have any comments. And thank you to all of my subscribers and the ones that are still currently subscribed. I love you guys. And I will catch you in another one of my planner-related videos. Bye, guys.